mani pad. So if you come closer, you can see that we use pallets. Now these aren't normal pallets as they don't have any gaps in between the wood. Now this is that's why we used them because if they did, it would be very hard to roll over. And so this is a pallet you want to you want to use, but if you don't have access to these kind of pallets, you can just use a uh, a thin piece of plywood or particle board to cover up the gaps and so here is our grind rail which we used a uh, part of a bed frame to make this and we found that in the trash so that didn't cost us any money and uh, we just screwed it on and we uh, made sure that the ends weren't very sharp. So here is the way we connect the two pallets together is using this little um, spring clamp, spring clamp um, that was only cost us for two six bucks. And we have it on both sides and it works like that. And they're pretty secure and you can ride right on over. So here's a feature that you might want to build onto your mani pad if you don't know how to ollie. So right here, you can see we screwed a piece of one by to uh, this pallet. And then we can just simply move it, move this um, piece of particle board um, onto it. Now, this was just a piece of scrap, so we didn't have to buy it, but you might need to. And to make it a lot easier to roll up onto, um, we have this, piece, this scrap piece of um, thin, plywood. thin plywood. And we put a piece of tape right here to reduce splintering. So then it is a lot easier to roll up onto it. So there is our DIY uh, mini pads. How is it, Dad? Is it fun? Has it been fun? Yes, it has been. I need to know what to say. Or like, I need to think of it. Okay.